Aliens Armageddon and Jurassic Park. It's the most epic arcade action shooter ever. Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkhead. So we have the Walking Dead on the Shark Shooter setup. Now we actually have the, let's turn the light back on. We actually have the Spider-Man unit. Now this is almost done. I've just got to get the trim done tomorrow for the sides and the side rails for the guns, which I'm going to send over tonight. Um of the design of the actual um side rails because i wasn't too sure what i should put maybe the marvel logo on the back or venom logo and spider-man logo on each side now these took forever to print um each one takes about 10 15 minutes and stuff but the quality of them's ridiculous and um, camera really really doesn't do it justice but the quality of the characters and stuff is absolutely outstanding um and i had to reverse print each sides as well so they were looking at each other so each one had to be individually printed separately and um, edited separately separately stuff like that now we have the spider-man and venom logo in the center there the light it just doesn't really show off the grill properly because it's um shining through there but um you've got that nice black and red grill and got these spider-man and venom face plates on each side of the guns we've got the spider-man webbing top piece as well so it's all themed to spider-man we've got the te blue team molding which come today and um, like i say i've got the trim and stuff to do and the trim for the guns just make them guns look nicer because i always take off this the stickers and stuff and make them themed so once those are on this machine's going to look stunning. So, the point of the video is obviously the Walking Dead game. Um, so let's just load up the game. Now, I've heard reports of the aim meant to be off on this game. I haven't experienced any issues with the game aim being off. Now, I've only done sort of a quick test of the game. Um, and it seems to be working okay. Now, this is going to be a Patreon game. So, this game is recommended to have Techno Parrot Patreon. Um, it's just a small subscription each month, five quid a month. Um, basically, it'll give you access to a ton of games. Um, I've got my mouse on the screen there, so I'll have to disable that within Techno Parrot. Um, but I have the simulated recoil on this game until there is a daily mole shooter version of the game and um, hopefully that will hook and find um the actual outputs and stuff that i need for this game so at the moment we've got simulated recoil but what i've seen so far with this title um it basically it's just a single shot anyways so you've got a crossbow, meant to have a crossbow. I don't know if they, they are meant to be fixed, those crossbows. I've not actually seen the real arcade correctly. Um, I don't know how I'm going to reload and shoot at the same time. So I'll try and give it a try. Try 
divine hit. So this is on the fixed alien gun kit. Um, the cursor and everything seems spot on. I go to the far right, go to the far left. It seems to be pretty spot on. It's shooting where the cursor is shooting. So like I say, I'm not sure what issues people seem to be having with this game, with the aim. Maybe it's just a gun for IR thing and it's due to a mouse setup, if that's an issue. Um, but so far with a shark shooter, it seems to be working flawlessly. Um, the graphics look great. It is upscaled to 4K as well. So it's fully upscaled to 4K. This is a 4K TV. That's quite nice because it actually shines a light as you're moving on the screen there so it looks like a torch that's pretty cool i've literally haven't even gotten this far into the game and um, before i just loaded it up just before there tested it made sure the recoil was working and it seems to be working fine now, I wish I could use two hands so I could play. I don't have a mount for my phone, so I wish I could play properly. But I'm just going to keep going, see how the game performs and stuff. Um, obviously, I don't get a chance to play the games all the way through. Um, there's a few games I do want to complete on the Shark Shooter, and that's um, Transformers. But it, so far, it looks pretty cool, man. The quality of the game looks looks brilliant the graphics look great on it I'll just try turning the tele TV up a little bit the audio of the game might get the video demonetized, but to be honest, I'm not too bothered. But yeah, it's it's working absolutely spot on. Working brilliant. I've done a ton of updates on the game on, on the system itself as well. Um we've got true recoil on most techno parrot games now I'm gonna try player two just show that's working and um, I don't think I've got my start button set up player two i might have to go in and reconfigure player two i may have just set up player one so player two recoil is working that set up ready and um, i've just got to get player two actually the start i must have set the start button on the wrong button but um yeah i'll, I'll reconfigure that no problem but yeah, the airman, like I say, I've read a couple of reports that the airman's off on this game, but like I say, it's absolutely spot on. Um, but like I say, that could just be a mouse, maybe a mouse issue with the gun for IR and stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks good, man. Really, really cool game. You'd want the Spider-Man and Venom logos on the back of the guns, yeah? and not the marvel no problem dude i'll have to see obviously if i just switch the light back on i'll let the game just kill us off um obviously on the back of the gun it's going to be a small logo you know what i mean in the center there so it's not going to be very big at all um so it'll be a small logo so i'll have to try and make that fit if i can dude i'm um, not sure of the rails of the guns because like i say if i was to do the similar logo to Spider-Man and the Venom logo. I could do that for each gun. 
but we're not going to have much space on there either. The space of that, the height of it and stuff. So I'll have to figure it out, see if it'll actually fit. You know what I mean, mate? But um, yeah, be honest, I would, if it was me, I would go with the Marvel logos on the back just because it's Marvel. Um, it fills it out a bit more. I've done it before on the back and it, it looks smart. But it's your machine, dude. Um, if you want the Venom and Spider-Man logo, I'll sort that out. No problem, buddy. Right? But I'll send you over some examples later on in that. And it doesn't seem to be killing us off, this. I seem to have loads of health. But, um, yeah, pretty cool game, man. Um, buzzing that it's out now. I wasn't... When I first seen the gameplay of it, I wasn't too impressed. Um, I, I just don't think i think the hype was a bit too much for it but yeah it's so far it seems pretty good but i haven't sat down and managed to play properly yet you know what i mean so but i think i think it's meant to be a real shooter game anyways i'm not sure i'd have to look at the actual official arcade um but it it's it works perfect as a real shooter um i've i've got no complaints there but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. The graphics, like I say, upscale to 4K look quality. Look really, really clean on there. But um, yeah, it's, it's looking good. Like I say, I should be finished the Spider-Man unit tomorrow. I do have to do some updates with Chris, so he needs all my updated settings. So all the new settings on the games, on the guns, um, all need to go on Chris's end as well. So Chris needs this update. So it might be next week I actually get it all sorted for shipping and that. What wording do you want on the side rails, dude? What Spider-Man and Venom? I might be able to, but it is going to be quite small. I've got to go obviously within the proportion of the rails themselves. So I'll take a look, mate. Um, Cause obviously printing a bit too small might look a bit off. You know what I mean? But yeah, these are these are quality when you see them in person. The the quality of those images from what they were before I edited them, it, it's ridiculous. Really, really in depth. Really nice colours on there. So it's gonna be a nice looking showpiece in the room, mate. But um. Now I've just been sorting out this room, to be honest. Um, I've got the ceiling and everything to paint so and get everything cut in nicely. I'm going to get some LED lighting up the walls and stuff and, yeah, sort this room out. But um, just mounted that yesterday, but that's still got to come down because we've got painting to do. I've got the ceiling to um, fix and sort out and stuff. So, yeah, a few things to sort out at home. Um, just got with new Wi-Fi in as well, 900 meg. So it has been playing up the past couple of days though, so it's been on and off, um, especially late at night. So I don't know how my streams are going to go, uh, my live streams, um, if they're going to be stable enough. But we'll see, I'll do some tests. Like I say, we've got 900 meg now, so should be pretty good. But yeah, absolutely buzzing with the um, new Walking Dead. Like I say, that's all set up, ready. That's going to be on all the new builds as well. Um, like I say, we've got... There's a couple of different things going on now, though, on these shark shooters. Um, one or two games, I think, load up the main hooker automatically. So I'm going to have to set a... Um, a close-down main hooker script, basically, for the... Um, if you want the main hooker disabled um because it automatically opens after closing some games but that's because i've had to do some specialized script for the games themselves um to allow them to work in true recoil with main hooker so there's a lot of work gone in um we've got a kuma there as well aliens armageddon aliens extermination america's army i didn't really like that game that much anyways and um, big buck hunter pro um, Block King Ball Shooter, Beyond Beyond, Castlevania are on there, Dark Escape 4D, Deadstone Pirates. Deadstone Pirates is now True Recoil as well. So we've got um, Deadstone Pirates on full True Recoil. Um, let's head down. 
We've got Elevate Action, Death Parade, and um, Invasion. Now, Invasion's now True Recoil also. Um, Far Cry, Paradise Lost. That's meant to be True Recoil by default, because that's what these guns are designed for. Um, but it doesn't seem to be doing um, True Recoil on there, so that's um, simulated. Haunted Museum. All these, like I say, have all been... Sorted rather true recoil or simulated recoil. Jurassic Park, I've got the video theme to add for that game as well. Um, but that's true recoil as well. Um, what else have I sorted on here? Um, I think Night Hunter's now true recoil. Operation Ghost, I wouldn't mind getting sorted true recoil because there's a lot going on on that game. Um, Rabbits Hollywood is true recoil. Rambo's now true recoil. Um, Sega Golden Guns now true recoil. It's not working through Techno Parrot. It's working through um, the PC PS3 emulator, dude. But I've got it on the Techno Parrot list. Um, Terminator Salvation not a true recoil game as well. House of the Dead Free, that's all sorted. And I've cleaned some themes, the themes up a bit as well, and um, the backgrounds. So if I go into something, let's just load Alien Free. So this is, I think this game here is true recoil and simulated recoil. It's a patch I've done for the game. Um, Cause when you set it up, it's actually in reverse. So it's a mixture. So as you shoot, when your power goes down, your bullets get slower. Start stuttering once you unload ammo. Hit exit. Now I've got a game over screen. That's the only screen you should see when it's exiting. Um, is that new game over screen? I had a load on there. I didn't like the looks of most of them, so I've just got the main one on there. Yeah, it's same um, through RPCS3, mate. The um, Deadstone Pirates. Let's just launch that. And on the system as well, so you've got your left and right pinball buttons. Uh, so that's for your wheel. I could probably add a spinner, um, but I don't know if it'll fit in. Um, and you could have a pirate wheel. I could probably do a Deadstone Pirates themed unit. But to be honest, if I was to do that, I'd probably make one um on a pedestal sort of a pedestal and have the actual spinner with the usb being able to be plugged it into the machine rather than made into the unit itself um because there's just not going to be enough room for the spinner and um, weight and stuff like that and have a custom wheel made up which would be pretty cool um did i load that did that load and exit Hey Chris dude. Yeah, so it's home at the minute. Um I've got a few things I need to sort out, and then we can get your drive hooked on and um tested. I've got to upload everything as well. I might do that tonight, all the new settings. So there's no recoil when you press the trigger at the main menus. On Deadstorm Pirates. What that logo there on the back? Possibly, mate. It's going to be small, though. 
will be small. So hold the right pinball button, that'll turn the wheel right. So at the moment no recoil until it starts actually shooting and you'll hear from my um, the difference between my recoil I set up before to the actual speed it shoots, it shoots at an accurate speed. So all true recoil, let's start player two there. And that's the same. Let's on this game as well it's all kind to quit. So that quits again. So that's a non-patron game as well. So that's that's non-patron. It's working flawlessly, man. No, it's not free yet, dude. But yeah, I've just... So far, I've read on Light Gun Lunatics, a few people have got problems with the aim, but I've got zero issues with the aim, dude. Um, let's go back to it. But yeah, zero issues with the aim. We've got simulated recoil. Terminator Salvation. <laughs> Let's switch the light off. I'll, for the people that's just started joining the stream, I'll show off some more gameplay. So this is all upscaled to 4K as well. Oh. That's what I'll do. I forgot to set um, gun two as well. The start button for do gun two. So I'll set that up in a minute, but um, it should be working on gun two. But I've got to do it all one handed. Um, Now it should, ah, right, this is what I was saying before with the... So at the moment I've got um, recoil switched off. So when I loaded um, one of the other games, what it's doing is it's actually closing Mayhem Hooker down. So what, what we'll have to do is just go in load our meme hooker then exit so with some games it is actually closing off meme hooker when you exit the game itself so we because we by default we need it switched off and um, there is going to be some customers that are going to want to play this on a night time aren't going to want to wake the kids up so demon shooter it'll have to be disabled and then enabled when you want to use it um but now, if we go back into The Walking Dead, we should have recoil kick in. Uh, there's the recoil sounds. So it is, like I say, it's simulated recoil, um, but it's a single shot game. So every time you pull the trigger, it should recoil, um, which is, it's perfect, really, for this game. I, I don't think, to be honest, it needs true recoil for the game itself. Um, because the simulated recoil is good enough. I don't know, obviously, halfway through the game, if you get like a rapid fire shot or anything like that. That's something I don't know. But the game itself, it's um, The Walking Dead, dude. What's wrong? The fence is down. We gotta go. Reload that. 
trying to do this one handed. Oh, reload. But yeah, like I say, it moves far left, far right side perfectly, up and down perfectly, and the aim, the actual shooting is spot on with the cursor as well. So like I say, I have zero issues with the actual game. Um, I've just got to go in. What I'll do is I'll quickly um, jump into Windows. So I might have to put the phone down a second. The company that brought you terminal. Let's head into Windows. Right. So we'll just jump in, and what I'll do is I'll just double check the configuration is okay on the um the player to start. I think it was we had a problem with. Um yeah. Yeah, so player two start is actually set for some reason to the up on the gun. And that's it. Yeah. So let's just save those settings. I'll just launch the game from there. Yeah, I will be doing a video. I've still got the um, Bubble Bubble one to upload. The video of that, I've just been so busy, man. Um, but I do have that video to upload. I've got... Um... Oh, oh, it's because my joint the keys open um, for Hyperspin itself. And it exited out, adding some coin. So let's just load it through Hyperspin. Um, yes, I've got this video. I've got a video to do of the other unit, the Starfighter one. I should have that finished tomorrow. Um, well, it's finished. I just need to set up the Wii controllers. I've been waiting for those to come in. But I'll be um, doing a video of that, the last Starfighter unit, tomorrow, hopefully. Um, get this finished tomorrow. I'll probably do a video of this one Friday. Um, and then try and get it sh ready for shipping Monday. Um, I've got the Day of the Dead unit. That's holding us up a bit. I've got some parts to order for that. Um, so I might have to juggle between two machines, two big machines, because um, that's going to be delayed for a few weeks, and I want to get on to the next build as well, if I can, just because I am so far behind, man, at the moment. So let's um, load our recoil up. I think... Let's, is it loaded up still? In? Ah, it's still loaded up. So quick test I usually do with the simulated recoil run on the last game is um, on my keyboard I've got Y and U. So that does me recoil on me guns, just so I know if it's open or not. Um, right, so let's go back into The Walking Dead. Now I should have two players working spot on as well. Um, yeah, that video went ridiculous. It was 50k views, 51k now I think it's went up to. But yeah, that, that video done well, man. I still forgot to disable the cursor on the screen. But I'll do that in a minute. Right, add some credits. Now I should be able to just start player two. Oh, there we go. Right. Let's try chapter select. Let's go on chapter four. So like I say, it's all simulated recoil, so when you pull the trigger, it'll just simulate the recoil and press the recoil within the game. Oh, what have I done there? Has the game crashed? Well, let's load that up again. It is a work in progress, this game, so it might need some um, fixes done at a later date. Because it just has been released, so we'll try that again. 
But like I say, you do need a Patreon key for this. You do need a Techno Parrot subscription. It does um, cost to five quid a month, but that gives gives you access to about ten titles on here. That's all Patreon, um, and they're all pretty cool titles. So they're all worth the five quid a month. Right, so I'm going to go back to chapter 4 because maybe there's an issue with chapter 4 in this game. So let's load that up. Yeah. So it looks like there's a problem on chapter 4 of the game. Terminator Salvation. So one other way probably to find out is I'm going to have to play the game up to chapter 4. See if it crashes then. But it looks like it's crashing on chapter 4. So like I said, there'll be an update for the game. Um, we'll keep it updated and stuff. Right. Let's go back to chapter 1. Right, there's something closing it down. Is it gone too, maybe? Two seconds. I'll be two seconds. What I'm going to do... I'm just going to check my setup. Because I might have an exit key on the movement of the gun and that's what's causing it let's have a look um because we've just been working on this and it's just been working so let's have a look see what's going on very very small but i should be able to manage to work with that what's going on there i think there's something wrong with my mouse right so I'll check my key mapper. Um, walking dead. Make sure all me, because I might have just pressed the button somewhere along the line of setting up the controls. So R Y U setup and R escape and button fourteen. So make sure that's pink and purple. Yep, yeah, that looks that all looks good. So. I'm probably going to close that down. Um, let's actually techno parrot update. Let's take a look in there quickly. Walking dead. And I just want to double check the game settings. We'll hide the cursor. And just double check the controller settings. So we've got a coin player one, player two. We've got our start button. Our trigger, our reload, our left, or right, up and down. Um, player two start, trigger, reload, X and Y. So that's all set up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'll just sign out, sign back in. Because it could also be maybe joy the keys open in the background it hasn't closed out on another game correctly and then when i'm moving the gun or pulling the trigger it's causing it to exit and um, so let's just jump in i'll not enable the recoil i'll just jump straight into the game i'll test player one then i'll test player two Yeah, so there's the PS2 stuff. That's all added, dude. Um, so we've got now all the PS2 stuff added on the system. Um, we've got all the Chris's stuff. Now, Chris has got a ridiculous amount of new stuff. Um, with the support for Gun for Eye, IR, stuff like that. There's so many games I've never even heard of um, on there. 
and and some really cool obscure stuff as well so yeah chris's two terabyte drive knocks the system up to three terabytes and um, there will be up to four terabytes at some point there's going to be some new features um on the shooting drive not just um the shark shooter itself because we are going to be working on another shooting system um if someone does want to be part of that build um i don't mind be um obviously doing a start on a prototype um, but hit us up if you're interested in a sh custom shooting cabinet um, a prototype of shark head. But I'm not going to say too much at the moment, but it will be a wall mounted machine. But yeah, this seems to be working fine. I'm going to try player two because that's when we started having issues. And that looks so far. Just make sure that's moving around. So I'm going to quit that. I'm going to enable the true recoil, weigh the simulated recoil, and then I'm going to test it again. Because it might have just been due to maybe joy the key open on a different game from a different game. And But what I can do is I can take a look back at the video and see what I loaded last and check that um, game settings. So exit out of that. And that should be the recoil enabled. Like I say, I've done some changes, obviously, to some recoil options. For us to have true recoil on a big collection of Techno Parrot games, we have had to change some of the way the games load and exit, um, which then causes um, Joy to Key, sorry, Mem Hooker, sorry, to close down. Um, after the game exits so it's got to then be reloaded back in which is fine because it means by default that game will switch off and um, but i've got a plan to maybe add a key to my scripts so it'll disable the recoil on the fly so you can be able to disable the recoil in game Right, I'm going to go straight to chapter 4, because that's what caused the issue before. So I'm going to load straight into chapter 4, and it, it might just be, because this is a brand new release game, it might just have issues on chapter 4 of the game. So far, so good. We didn't get this far before. So it was just, the system needed a quick refresh. But yeah, that's looking good, man. 4K, fully upscaled, quality, absolutely quality. But yeah, a little refresh of the system. And that's player one and player two, fully working there. So whether I shoot on the right side, left side, the cursor is accurate. So, let's quit that. What time is it? Because I'll have the kids to put the bed soon and I'm in, in my daughter's room at the moment. This is getting converted out for my daughter. And um, then when she's not here, it's going to be a movie room. So, yeah. Um that's the walking dead on techno parrot and the current updates like i say and um, i'll just jump straight into wild west shoot out there and this is true recoil as well We've also got bullet counters on here, so... So we've run out the bullets. Rebel. Rebel. 
So bullet counters on Wild West Shootout, True Recoil. Um, what else have I sorted? We should have True Recoil on... Is it the Sega Model 2? Virtual Cop 2? So let's add some credits. Right, I had this problem yesterday, I think. Is it started? Let's let's check it out. Right, for some reason I don't have my I have my movement, but I don't have my trigger. So I'm not sure what's going on now. I'll have to take a look at that because it was working earlier on and it's just glitched out. So I don't know. Let's try Virtual Cop 1. And then we'll load back into Virtual Cop 2. Loading. So that's a true recoil saying that it's enabled. So we have cursor movement, so demo shooters working. I just don't know why the recoil, why the trigger wasn't working. Trigger's working on that game, so I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it glitched out. But it done that with us yesterday as well, so I'm not sure what's going on. So that's all true recoil. Each time I pull the trigger. And the bullet counter as well. So five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. And I think, did I set it up on here? No, I haven't set up the hockey, but the I can set up the hockey for the right pinball. And um, basically you can change your cursor in the game as well. Um yeah, like I was saying before, I do have another project in mind. It's going to be a wall shooter arcade. Um, it's going to have some cool features. If someone is interested in a machine built like that, um, hit us up. Um, I, I don't mind being a new project, uh, for it to be a new project for someone. Um, and I'll do you a big discount on it as well, since it will be a prototype. But I've got most of the parts there ready for it. But hit us up a message and um, let us know that you are serious and interested in a personal project. And um, yeah, I'll do you a good, good deal on it. And that's going to end up coming with a two terabyte drive as well. And then Chris's two terabyte drive also. But it'd have some cool features, um, which I won't be charging extra for those cool features. I'll take like the cost of the price of that off in that if you're interested in that um, build itself. So let's try this again. That's working. It must have just it must have just had a moment. Quit out, reload it back up. But um yeah, I'm not sure why that done that, but um we seem to be same again on um virtual cop two bullet counter as well on the guns. Um let's just do gun two as well. So started off on four, but when we reload, four, three, two, one. So it just needs a couple of seconds, a few times reloading. I'm not sure what's going on there, why it's going up to four, but I think that will sort itself out. Obviously, these guns aren't usually designed for these games. Um, I've had to do some stuff in the background to get the recoil, the true way the true recoil working, the display counters working and stuff like that. So it might be a little glitchy on one or two games like that. Um, let's try House of the Dead. 
Yeah, like I say, I've got um, I've got some new features for shooters in mind. Um, for a wall shooter, and I'd like to use a telly in front of us as well on that project, or one just like the TV in front. So nice, nice big screen. Yeah, I think it might just need restarting and that refreshed. Um, but yeah, the bullet counters are working. I know if it's doing it on the same system um, and I've got the same settings, I know my settings are going to be okay because um, there's no, no reason for that to jump up in between. It might just have glitched out. It might just need a full restart of the system. But yeah, the bullet counters work. Like I say, it's all new, all, all new stuff added. So... There's going to be issues. I've I've been loading up into different systems and stuff like that. So it, I'll do full test before the unit's sent off anyways. But um, yeah, bullet counters do work. Um, true recoil, like I say, all works. We've got tons of games on here now, man. We do have, like I say, some other systems hopefully coming. We have Chris's um, Retro Beast Drive um, to add on. I'm going to do a um, custom um, custom intro to his Beast Drive. And we've just got to do some tests. So I'm going to leave it there. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the videos. Hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.